before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram so in order to check the visa uh, policy of Costa Rica just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you the visa policy map of Costa Rica you will find that almost all the countries of South America all the countries of North America uh, Euro all European countries Turkey uh, Russia South Africa United Arab Emirates Australia uh, New Zealand uh, Malaysia Korea and Japan all these countries can uh, travel to uh, Costa Rica uh, without any visa for the rest of the world speaking about almost all the African countries uh, Egypt Algeria uh, Kenya uh, for example for the uh, Asian countries India uh, Pakistan uh, China all these countries uh, or Indonesia or even Indonesia all these countries you need to apply for visa before traveling to Costa Rica in order to fill the visa application form for Costa Rica just click over this link over here then this page will appear in front of you and here you will start filling all these details starting here with writing the name uh, of the consulate where you are going to submit this visa application form uh, and uh, this section here uh, leave it uh, empty because it is for the official use only and then here you can find fill your complete name uh, some of your details your birth date and your age your nationality your professional occupation uh, details about your passport uh, and uh, like place of work company name address and phone number uh, details about your place of employment and here other visa issued during the last two years if there is any please fill it here and a uh, hotel or host name in uh, costa rica we have all these sections here submit uh, documentary evidence um, okay person key uh, okay so you'll submit it by your uh, self and also in this section here funds brought in the country to support yourself you will uh, use of course like a credit card or to uh, or use uh, cash whatever way of fund you will use so you just fill all these uh, sections and your fir the date of your uh, uh, first visit to Costa Rica your, your last visit and number of days of the last stay of in Costa Rica if any uh, and here of course the reason of traveling if, if it's tourism or to visit family or other and also to uh, explain and here you write your address your phone number and the date and in the end you click here over this uh, button here and this page will appear in front of you so you can print the application form after filling it and after filling the application form you just need to sign it and to take it uh, along with the all required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video to the embassy or the consulate of Costa Rica in your country so in order to know which consulate you need to go to you just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you will show you the list of the consulate of Costa Rica in in the whole world like in Beijing in Paris in Rome for example here in New Delhi you can find this is uh, the place of the details of the consulate in New Delhi you can find the phone number and the email either you call them by phone or uh, send them an email telling them that you would like to submit your application form and your documents for applying for uh, the visa or you can just go directly to the consulate uh, you can just google it like the consulate of costa rica in new delhi and you will find the exact address you can just go there directly submit all your documents and in the end you will be able to get the visa the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamps uh, pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white 
background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details. You will also need a visa application form. This visa application form could be filled and submitted online. Other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer, then printed and signed. And other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually. All depend on your destination and the type of the visa you are applying for. You will also need to submit a proof of status. If you are an employee, then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well. If you are a business owner, then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business. If you are a student, then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter. If you are a minor, then your father and mother, your parents, should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them. If you are jobless, then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of, of funds. Sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality. Uh, in that case, you either need to submit a valid visa of this company, of this country, or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country. You will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds. It should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account, and it should be signed and stamped by your bank. Number eight is your flight reservation. It should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them, the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket. Number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel. Sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip. Number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another.